What's up guys? I'm Chandra aka Virish and Beauty. Today's video is going to be about our vaginas. I guess people are uncomfortable, but if you're female, we all have them. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Your vagina is supposed, like it's wet, right? Um, <laughs> but you're supposed to try to keep it as dry as possible, like the area that it's in. It definitely needs to breathe. Like it's just it's more sanitary anyways. Like if you go work out, you're sweating, there's smells down there, just, you know, go into the bathroom, get like a wet paper towel or something, or carry wipes. Get, get something, wash yourself down, dry yourself off, you're good to go. When you keep it wet, it's going to like possibly give you like a yeast infection. And speaking of washing yourself off, carry wipes around with you. There's small little pocket pouches that you can carry that are wipes too, just to keep yourself fresh. Never wipe back to front. I repeat, do not wipe back to front. That's gonna cause problems. Didn't never do that. We're a family, it's called a tribe. Click that subscription box below if you wanna be a part of my tribe, okay? <laughs> Our vaginas do a lot of things by itself. There is discharge, there is possibly gonna be some smells, and you just want to be as fresh as possible. I feel like this is an old school thing, but douching is not good for your vagina. So please do not douche. Your vagina is a naturally cleansing body part. Like, it does this thing itself. Yes, we clean it every day with our own stuff, but it already has the strength to get anything out that it should, right? A douche is basically putting vinegar into your... Vinegar is acidic. That's still the cleansing system in your vagina. So, stop now. If you're already doing it, please drop that, okay? Save your money. Don't do that. You are messing yourself up. Like, I, I just envision like a dry vagina from douching. If your pH is off, then that means that there can be certain things that are going on down there that you're not aware of or you need to fix. So typically, if your pH is off, that means that like, you did something. Sometimes sex can cause your pH levels to go off. Sometimes like not drinking enough, enough water. Sometimes if you take, well for sure, if you take antibiotics, that is something that will cause your pH levels to go off. Um, there's just a number of things, you know, and you never know unless it actually happens. So um, if that does happen, here's another tip, probiotics. I think that you should take a probiotic every day. You can either get pills or, um, you know, kombucha, like everybody is so hip to it, so uh, popular now. Uh, that is a probiotic drink. So it's basically something that's supposed to balance your system out. So keep that in mind. Um, if you do find yourself, you know, maybe smelling a little off or just feeling off down there, Try that, because probiotics can help with like um, discharge, it can help with smells, it can just help with like how you feel down there. And if these things are still not helping, then I definitely suggest you going to a doctor. If you are doing any of that stuff, Whenever you are done, you need to pee and you need to wipe it up, like clean yourself off. I know sometimes like it's like the middle of the night or you don't even know where you're at. <laughs> I get it, please do your vagina a favor and get to a bathroom, at least pee. If you are able to like wipe yourself up or like take a shower afterwards, please pee because that, like that's letting all the bacteria out of your vagina so it's not trapped, so you don't get a UTI. UTIs suck. Just to make sure that you guys are confident, um, please know that all vaginas do have like their own scent, right? 
It doesn't mean it smells bad. It's not gonna smell like flowers and peaches though. Like that's just not, it's just not. It's a body part. Like does your arm smell any type of way? Let's say actually, let's, let's go even deeper. Your armpit, right? It can get moist. Um, if you don't put deodorant on it, what happens? It smells. Your vagina, typically, I mean, like, if nothing is going on, you just took a shower, it's not really gonna smell. Not, it's not, there shouldn't really be an odor. But as you are, you know, living your life through the day, just like that armpit, putting a little work, <laughs> your vagina is gonna have a little something. Not strange, you're not different if you have a little odor. The only thing that's bad or not bad, but the only thing that you need to like get checked on or is a concern is if you smell like fishy. If it's like a rank smell, it's a lot. And typically when you smell fishy, that means you have bacterial vaginosis, which can be fixed, okay? So it's not the end of the world, but just like pay attention to yourself. All right guys, so those were my tips that I have for you guys. If you want another video about this, I have lots more tips on feminine hygiene. Leave any tips you have in the comments below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe once again. I love you so much. Bye.